Uh, you about two and a half or three minutes to uh, talk about your background, your education, and some of your experiences, and after which Mr. <coughs> excuse me, Hawkins will do the same. All right. Uh, my name is James Hawkins. I'm a 44-year-old male. Mm -hmm. um, my background is I'm the president of the Dads Against Destruction. It's a program we try to help dads change, dads change their, uh, their lives around to making better choices and decisions uh, where they're going in life. Um, my background um, in education, I attended White Creek Comprehensive High School. Uh, I left school in 1991. I left from there. I didn't graduate, but I did a few years later, wind up getting my GED. Then after I received my GED, I went on off to college um, in Flathead Valley Community, Community College. That's in Montana, Montana uh, Catterspill, Montana. Mm -hmm. So um, that's my education. That's my, and what I have to deal with uh, child support is, I've been dealing with child support for over 20 years. I have two adult kids, and the situation with that is, I, the way it's been explained to me is I'll be paying child support you know, the rest of my life due to the, the way the state has set things up to where that you're not just only paying child support, but you also pay in interest fees and back this and back that, and um, to where it just, I'm paying more to the state that I'm paying to the, uh, to the child support right now. And so in real sense, what you're saying here, uh, Mr. Hawkins, Mr. Uh, Watkins. Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Watkins, is that uh, uh, the state of Tennessee has some issues dealing with uh, child support that the two of you, you and uh, Mr. Hawkins, will be able to talk about. But yes. first, let's get some information from you, uh, Mr. Hawkins, Phil Hawkins, in reference to uh, your background, education, and what really brought you to us this morning. Okay, good evening. Like, <clears throat> thank you for us being here. I'm Phil Hawkins, the CEO of Dads Against Destruction. What brought us here is that it's time for us to stand up, man up, and get this out. You know, a lot of men don't even want to work no more these days. So we out here now trying to advocate for the men to get the men back in the household and get the system back. Right now, the system trying to raise our kids, and it can't happen like that. And so in a real sense, uh, let, let, let's, uh, since you've been involved with uh, child support uh, in, uh, in, in the state of Tennessee for quite a while, mm -hmm. let's give our audience some information in reference to what we mean in reality when we say child support in Tennessee, who has to pay it and how much you have to pay it and how long you have to pay it. Let's do it from that perspective. Um, the way it's set up from my understanding, it's supposed to be for 18 years until your child turns 18 years old. Then it can go on further because of uh, they're going to college and stuff. I can understand all that. But, you know, situations in life happen. Uh, man, job might slow down at different points of the season to where he's not able to make his whole payment or he might lose a job or, you know, just things happen. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't stop uh, child support from running. And as it keeps running, uh, if you miss, it's, it's, like a, it's like a credit. If you miss a payment, if you don't, if you don't pay your whole full balance, they're going to charge you a late fee. And this is what I, how I feel about it, because I'm paying, I'm paying late fees every day, every day, all day long because of a, um, I'm just, I'm just might, might be slow on getting the payment, makes me slow at work and stuff, and I'm not even making a payment. But it's, it's just a, it's just a system to where it's like, it makes you feel like the state getting more out of it than the child is. Mm -hmm. And so, Mr. Hawkins, uh, uh, what we're saying, uh, is that uh, when we talk about child support, we're not just talking about a simple kind of thing of oh, buying no. uh, uh, diapers and no, uh, baby food and et cetera for a certain time. But I think as, uh, as Mr. Watkins has indicated that he has been involved in it for more than 18, 20 odd years. And yeah. so, and, and, and so uh, what we're gonna do, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Hawkins, is to, uh, take this first commercial break. We've got about a half a minute. Okay. And when we come back, we want you to talk about child support in the state of Tennessee by defining what we mean okay. when we talk about child support and the impact that child support is having upon individuals. After you, after when we come back, you give us some, some statements in reference to your background, your education, and some of your experiences. And then we'll get into that part of it. And that will allow us to first get a definition Right. Because I think a large number of folks, when they think about child support, generally think in terms of buying baby bottles and et cetera, and et cetera. Mm -hmm. But it seems mm -hmm. that we're talking about something that lasts 14, 15, yeah. uh, 20 years. And I yeah. think that that's a, a different situation. And so when we come back, uh, I feel what we'll do is to allow you to start us off. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break.
about <clears throat> child support in Tennessee, this is where you, you start because you're going to have four minutes okay. at least okay. before you turn it over to him. Okay. You listen to what he's saying mm -hmm. and anything that you think that you might be able to elaborate upon or mm -hmm. whatever or to expand it or whatever. I'm learning something. Because I was of the impression that uh, child support, you know, uh, I, I know there might be some situations in oh, reference it's, it's, to it, but I didn't know it was a, a lifelong it's, it's, kind of situation. Oh, yeah, kind yeah. Of, uh, judge, uh, judge Seth told me, uh -huh. said, you'll be paying child support the rest of your life. Uh -huh. One so, way or the other. Yeah. Is that the program, what he told me. Yeah, program so, where the man can't win. Uh -huh. uh, well, that's what, you know. if, if y'all see some problems with, with the issue of child support and et cetera, we're not talking about uh, something that uh, we're trying to mm -hmm. neglect children or, or yeah, whatever, and et cetera. Right. But what we're trying to indicate is that it creates a problem yeah. for- A uh, big problem. I'm I'm out there trying to pass a, get a bill pass, a law pass, to give me in uh, 90 days. Okay. Oh, okay, so oh, oh, okay. anytime you're ready. Huh? Okay, so we're going to come back and. Thank you and welcome back to the second segment of the show for today. The topic is child support in Tennessee and we have with us to talk about child support in Tennessee, uh, Mr. James w uh, <coughs> Watkins. Watkins and uh, Mr. Phil Hawkins. And so Mr. Hawkins, let's see if we can get some information from you uh, because we were unable to get it the last time right. from you in reference to your background, your education, and some of your experiences that led you to us this morning, and then make some statements in reference to child support in Tennessee, and then we'll go move to uh, Mr. Watkins and uh, okay. allow him to sort of uh, finish this segment for the morning. Okay. Well, I came out of Glencliff High School, like my uh, <clears throat> buddy here, didn't graduate, went through the system to graduate, get GED, and just got, you know, going through life changes, ups and downs. But we also been in the child support system, like he said, 20, 30 years. Well, we can't win, you know, and it's time for us to take back our stand on it. We keep falling for everything. We got to stand for something. And this child support thing, it got to be, well, the average man these days don't even want to work a job. You know, mm -hmm. they take a half his check. The child at home don't get the money. The state taking all their money. And then you left with $100, $200 to feed for two or three kids. So that's what we man up. We're taking, we're taking them back our lives. We're addressing the issues now. It's time for us to, you know, do what we need to do to get these fathers back home. Maybe we, we stop some of this gun violence, you know, because the father's not there, he can't raise his kids. Mm -hmm. But if you bring a father in, he can discipline his kids. The state can't do it by itself no more. Now, when we talk about child support, uh, and I think a large number of members of our audience might think in terms of supporting that child for a certain amount of years and et cetera. But what, what's your view in terms of child support, which is to say that you are paying for your child, yes, sir. but at the same time, there are some issues that, that you that you like to deal with. Yes, sir. Well, I, found, well, I found out just the other day, I'm advocating child support every day. I just found out the other day I was with uh, my kid's parents, my kid's mother, 24 years. And I just found out the other day, I, I'm 139,000 behind on child support payments. So where, how that system add up? I was with my kids every day of their life, each, all three of them, but I'm behind, I take care of my kids. Mm -hmm. You know, it's how the system is trying to portray us as not doing, because we're not paying the system. Mm -hmm. But we keep paying the system, we can't pay, the, we can't feed the child. We mm -hmm. gotta have something for a man to live. And so you, uh, are you still with your wife? No, sir. But, you, but, you're, still, but you're still paying for, yes, to support your children. Every day. And you feel that uh, they are taking more money out of whatever salary you have. Yes, sir. Uh, and mo some of that money does not go to the child. None of the money but, go back. But, but, but the money, in, in, for the most part, uh, goes to the state. Yes, sir. Well, what do you think about that, Mr. Wa uh, uh, Mr. Watkins? <laughs> I mean, it, it, it is true, as, um, as you just asked me about going towards the child. It's true. I've had the mother me call me and ask me, uh, well, when, when is your job going to send the money? That's what you mean. It's coming out of my check. Mm -hmm. Well, they... They send it when they want to send it. And um, it causes conflict within the household. Mm -hmm. I've lost a house. I've lost, well, I lost my family. I've lost cars. I've lost jobs and everything. I've lost my freedom yeah. over child support. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it, it took a real, real big toll on me uh, mentally and emotionally mm -hmm. because 
you know, I desire to be home with my kids. My kids, my kids are my everything. And, and to take me out of my home uh, because I, I fell behind on a bill, you know, that's like, come on, man, you, you're not just taking me out of home. What do you mean when you say to take you out of your home? How does that? Uh, I mean, when you take a person out of home, when you take a person's job from them, mm -hmm. what is that man going to do? He's going to wind up trying to figure out a way to go out here and get some money. Mm -hmm. right. Because if you love your kids, you're going you're gonna to revert to anything that's in the means necessary to get the money to feed your kids mm -hmm. or do what you can do. So, yes, I've made some choices in life to where I started going towards the street life. Mm -hmm. Because of why? Because every time I, I turned around, I was getting, I was getting harassed. I was, if I wasn't, I was getting harassed by, the, by the, uh, the judges to the point to where they was like, well, this is the, this is the state law. So is it state law, then okay, if I can't make this money, you taking all the money, my kids not getting paid, my life's getting cut off, this is happening. Well, I gotta hear them go out here and find another way to uh, get this money because not only am I hearing from you all, but I'm also hearing it from her. <laughs> you know, and, and when that's all that takes, all that comes into play, it pushes a man outside that household to where he's right. looking to where, like, man, what am I gonna do? So when we sit up here, we on, we look at these uh, other young men out here on these streets and they trying to do different things. You know, when I talk, when the first thing come out of their mouth, man, I gotta, I gotta feed my kids, man. And you know, it's, it's like, that's where that uh, destruction come in. So we, me and Phil Hawkins, we have been through it and we have fought through many things to try to uh, maintain a fatherly a relationship with our kids and everything, which we are, which we still do. Just because they took us out the home don't mean we still ain't in our kids' lives. But uh, we, we still try to, try to you know, educate the younger men, the, uh, the future and everything to, hey, we're going to try to get some help because I, I know where you've been. I know where you're going and stuff. So, uh, 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 <clears throat> Phil, when you think in terms of child support in Tennessee, what would you consider to be the most destructive thing that the state of Tennessee is doing in order to either uh, help you or prevent you from uh, really supporting your children? I mean, the first thing they're doing, they, not, they need to let the dads or father be a father. The state cannot raise or come in a household and raise them to raise kids. And that's what they're doing. They make sure the father's not there by leading the mother wrong. Make sure the father not there. So there you go. You got a, a son and daughter just being raised by the system. And we all know that's going to lead to a broken cycle. So we are here now trying to bring that cycle to, to fix the broken cycle. You know, to get this right. Bring the fathers back in the home. Take care of their kids. Take care of their families. It's just a man of process. You know, we, we need help with it. And, 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 and so if, if, if the state is paying that household child support, mm -hmm. the father cannot be in the household. Is that what we're saying? Yes, that's right. And, 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 and so which means that I think as you were indicating, Mr. Watkins, that that sort of pushes you out into the street. Yeah. It, you see, in order for her to receive. A yeah. man is going to try to figure out some way to not only did you push that man outside that household, but he also got to go find a house to where he got to stay now. Right. So that's another bill. That's another situation where he got to like, okay, he got to go and try to wind up in a, a shelter. You wind up in a hotel. You wind up in a friend house. You, you bouncing around, bouncing around in different places trying to live and trying to uh, provide and stuff, it, it takes away yourself, uh, yourself, uh, uh, self uh, self-esteem. Self Downhill yeah. spiral. Yeah. And, and, and it's, that's, that's what we call destruction. Yeah. So it's, it's when, 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 you know, 